Hello and welcome to a gameplay with the IS. Today we're going to be playing with a full on tier 10 battle, I mean tier 7 battle. So yes, featuring the IS. Um, so yeah, this tank overall is pretty sweet though. Like, the gun, same gun as the KV-3, but there's no differences to it, except the only difference between this tank and the KV-3 is in the same, like the other branch that goes to the um, IS-4 and this one goes to the IS-7, is that this one has more maneuverability. That's the only difference, technically, and more, it's a bit more slopey in a way, but yeah, overall it's the same gun, everything. So yeah, this fella we're watching right here is 987TZ. He technically waits around for a couple seconds, checks where everyone's going, looking around, doesn't realize what he's doing. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now he's back. And he sees half his team's gonna go on the right, so he's gonna might as well take the left side by himself with the T29. So yep, the VK301P following all along. Not much that guy can get do really in this battle. He can do some damage, but when he takes a hit, it's not gonna be nice for that fella. So like this guy, the VK301P takes two shots from the IS and it's done for it, but the armor of the VK301P is really nice. Let's see, so the IS moves along all the way to this side, the left flank. Watt well, founds the ELC, and the ELC luckily runs away, the little, little tank it is, as it can run away. Keeps following along, following along. So yeah, this IS is um, only equipped with a repair kit, med kit, and no egg extinguisher, no extra stuff, no ventilations, nothing. So nothing extra really about this guy, really. Just an average, normal little player just rolling around on the field. So yeah, as usual, t heavy tanks either roll in between those cliffs or tend to take this side. Since they move up on this side, take a peek as always, see if there's anything around. There's always people that come this way, like maybe one or two, but like, There'll always be people. IS fires and misses. The I, uh, I mean the KV-1 is fires and misses. The IS fires right back at him. And gives him a nice direct hit. He has 350 health. The KV-1 is making a stupid move. He's going to try to push up. The IS takes a shot and boom. One kill for our team. He, there we go. So that guy technically took three shots from these guys and he's done. The Jack Panzer IV is making an also stupid move and boom. He's another one. Right now we're standing at two kills for the IS. And the IS is waiting for his reload to move up after that. The IS's reload is like if you have like just a normal crew, it's like I believe um between maybe eleven or so seconds, eleven, twelve, thirteen, around that, not hundred percent sure. Can't really see even though the mod is installed but doesn't wanna show it for us. So the AMX M four forty five comes right out for us. He's looking for a kill. But as silly, he sticks out his little turret, and the IS just hits it right there. If overall, the French tanks don't have much armor, so either way, however you almost hit the AMX, it's not gonna do be an, be an issue. The AMX fires and hits him, only hits his track stone, so no damage. The same thing, the IS returns the same favor, but the AMX has lost his track, so he's in an even worse situation. The IS zooms in, fires. Now uh, the AMX stands at 29%, which is 338 health, which isn't much, isn't going to last for him for very long. Takes one shot from the IS, then he's gone. Let's see, the VK3601H is just fighting off the T29, not the best enemy. The IS once again just takes a shot right at him, finishes him off. But now the VK301P from the enemy team tries to come around and see what he can do. And the Hummel. So the gunner is dead. Our player right here uses his repair kit because he knows the uh, Russian tanks don't have much health, so, I mean much accuracy, so if you ain't going to repair the guy, you better go really close because that, that gun's not going to hit anything. So let's see, the IS fires and, miss and hits, hits him but it bounces. This is insane armor on these little VKs, but boom, takes another hit and he's a goner. Now we're standing at four kills right now for the IS. This IS right here on this end of the map just by the center of the map, already got four kills. Right now, the enemy team has an I a Su-152, a Hummel, a Su-8, a KV-1, a Panzer IV, and a Stug. 
and these guys are mostly all tier 5 except the Sub 152 that's the only thing that's remaining now the IS goes for the Panzer IV manages a miss unluckily somehow wasn't really lucky but forgets about him the M41 just pummels him keeps moving on and on the IS with its nice speed even though like it seems like this guy ain't got the best engine though he's still moving quite fast he's quite maneuverable a little tank it is keeps moving on the other side seems like it's not having any issues there taking out everyone one by one it's only four teams remaining four guys remaining in the enemy team and our team has still seven guys are left the Sioux gets spotted the RIS stops right there zooms all the way in and the Sioux disappears but we take a blind shot at him in case anything could happen but we don't know yet because that guy's disappeared so our little IS keeps moving on so in case he got detected by Artie doesn't get hit once again keeps moving on as we all know the little um, little Arties tend to camp back here so everyone tends to check back here once in a while to see if there's anyone hiding back here but it seems like no one's decided to camp back here this time Hummel decides to reverse, doesn't realize gets shot by the T-29 in the butt, gets killed the KV-1 on the other hand tries to come back to defend the base takes a hit from the IS is down to 41% which is 291 health so now that he's standing against a T-29 and an IS takes another hit from the IS and is obliterated the IS right now stands at 5 kills Let's see, zooming on the Su-152 boom, we take a direct hit and we need the Su-152, we get a bounce on him so we luckily we didn't lose much health, only like 20% of our health so like 300 health or so and we lost our track, so it's not so bad it's overall we still got a T-29 as our teammate behind us, a KV-1, an M7 medium tank moving in and we also got a little crusader looking for something he can do so we're just moving up, moving up waiting for someone to come right out, peek their little heads out the ISU decides to come out once again decides to aim right at the KV-1 let's see, waiting for the shot, nope, maybe nope, yep, took a shot and misses the Su-8 on the other hand decides to pop out KV-1 takes an instant fast shot at him, picks him off now the only one that stands in this battle is the Su-152 with that gun itself he could obliterate the whole team if he plays it smart but this fella right here isn't doing it really well so the IS fires again and misses it's incredible this is the only drawback technically of the Russian tanks it's the um, accuracy they cannot hit whatsoever at all at long ranges even though this was only like a hundred meters of range still no hit on him but it's okay they got the really powerful damage that's what compensates really for their accuracy and their, but the reload time is also fair enough so it's not so bad because I mean if 11 seconds or so hits like up to 400 damage a tiger can do like 200 and something damage with one shot and reloads in 8 or 9 seconds depends on your crew our IS right here is chatting to the T-29, making him, asking him to go, because he's got the big turret armor, so he can peek around the hill, fire at him, and run back. Looks like they're all startled, waiting for the audience to finish him off, and nope, the T-29 finishes him off. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be putting out a couple more commentary for you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching.